How's it going everybody? This is Vita Bush. Today I'm going to share with you some of the good stuff that I bought including two books and a movie subscription. Two of these things that I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to get any kind of gains from it for mentioning this so it's not a sponsor. I'm sharing these because I read it or watched it and I thought it was a really really good deal. So watch this video to find out how to get these for yourself. This video is brought to you by Moo Moo. This is their mascot. It's a cow or a bull. I'm not too sure which one it is, but if you open up an account, you get one free share of stock value between three and $3,500. Deposit any amount, get another free share worth between nine and $3,500. If you plan to invest a little bit more, you deposit $2,000, you get three free shares of stock value between nine and $3,500. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. Have you guys watched The Martian? Well, I read The Martian, the book, and I thought it was really, really good. The movie was also pretty good, but as all things go with novels and movies, the novels are generally way better because whatever you read, you have a very vivid imagination and there is no picture that can beat what your mind can create. I became interested in The Martian after reading some reviews on Amazon. It turns out the author Andy Weir used to be a computer programmer and he just kind of started this thing as a side project. Without going too deep into The Martian, the style of the writing is basically a guy who is MacGyvering his way out of every very difficult situation. It's very engineering related, so if you like sci-fi stuff, it's very good sci-fi. And the MacGyvering part is usually very interesting because it's not something you would think of. And this is a constant theme with his books. And I guess it never gets old. Like it goes time after time, keeps on solving these really, really complex problems in very novel ways. And it just keeps you on the edge of your seat and you just reading it, you don't want to put the book down. For The Martian, I thought that was a 10 out of 10. But the book that came out of it, Artemis, I read it all the way through without going to sleep or anything. It was probably an eight and a half out of 10. So it's not as good as The Martian. But now that we come back to this recent book that was just released in May, 2021, just about like five or six months ago, Project Hail Mary. This book is back to a 10 out of 10. So I thought it was really, really good. It talks about a lone astronaut in a interstellar flight. He's MacGyvering things all around him. He is on this trip to save Earth from a disaster without giving anything away. Now at a time like this during a pandemic, maybe you're not going out as much. Maybe you want to have more entertainment at home. Maybe you don't want to Netflix all the time. So picking up this book is, I would consider it's entertainment. You're not going to learn very much from it, but it's a very good form of the entertainment. The audiobook is actually about 18 hours long. So you're gonna get entertained for a really, really darn long time if you get the audiobook. Here is where this is somewhat sponsored because you can get actually this very book, Project Hair Mary, for free on Audible through my link down in the video description below. You can get one free credit just for signing up and you use this credit to get Project Hail Mary and then you can actually cancel right after you download it. And you can still keep this audiobook. So basically, I'm recommending this book. If you've never gotten Audible before, get it for free, cancel it if you want, or keep the membership if you want. And you can have some nice free entertainment with this highly, highly recommended book here. Especially if you like sci-fi, it's like, it's a no-brainer. You should get this. If you use my link, you'll help out this channel. The next thing I want to talk about is AMC A-List. This is not a sponsor. If you would like to help this channel out, go check out my Moomoo link, go check out my Audible link, but I'm talking about this A-list thing simply because I think it's a really, really good idea and I'm gonna give you some pro tips on how to extract the most value from it. So you get three movies a week, any movie at all, any time you want, there's no blackout time or anything, so you can just schedule this just like any other movie goer. You can even watch IMAX, you can even watch Dolby Digital and all those other fancy theaters, basically anything AMC has has on offer, you can make a reservation with this AMC A-list thing. The three movies every week resets on Friday morning. So if on Friday you get one, Saturday you get one, Sunday you get one, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, well, you can't get one. And then Friday, everything resets. You can watch three more movies starting Friday morning. They have a special deal. 99 cents the first month, the regular price, the second month, and the third month, which means that if you sign up for this thing, you actually have to keep this membership for an entire three months. But there's a way to get around this. There's three tiers, 
for how much it costs for this membership service. $23.95 if you want to be able to use AMC in all 50 states. $21.95 for 45 states, it's kind of weird like this. I don't know why they do this. And 1995 for 34 states, all of this not including tax. You gotta make sure whichever membership that you buy includes the states that you're going to watch the movie in. If you really, really only want to pay for the first month, you could possibly get a $1 gift card, but less than, let's say $20 or so because you can actually use this gift card, get the membership first. They're gonna charge a 99 cent to it for the first month. And then when they go around charging it the second month, they're going to suspend your account because the credit card doesn't work anymore. I actually accidentally did this with my account. And it turns out that any movie that you already reserved will actually go through. So before the membership is charged, 30 days later since you started, you can actually reserve something in advance and it won't get canceled out if your card doesn't go through. Another good thing that you might wanna know is you can go under profiles and look at AMC Investor Connect. If you own a share of AMC share, you just click this little box and say, I'm a shareholder. And then about 24 hours or less later, you're gonna get a free offer for a free large popcorn. A free large popcorn costs about $10, but unfortunately, because of my health issues, because there is some preservatives that my gut does not like, or like there's butter, right? Maybe there's lactose, very low amounts of it in it. I cannot really eat it or anything. So this is pretty much useless to me. Maybe it'll be useful to you if you like eating popcorn, but I'll leave the link to this. It's not a referral down in the video description below. The third thing I want to talk about is this book, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. This book was recommended to me by many, many subscribers, at least 10 times, I think. So I thought, hey, you know, anytime I'm gonna get a comment that has multiple requests. I'm gonna get it after a while. I'm going to do the research. So this book comes in two halves. The first half is about the guy. He lived through a concentration camp and he had a whole bunch of observations because he's kind of like a psychologist. And the second half is about his analysis of sort of like the meaning of life because when you're in a concentration camp, you just think there's no meaning anymore because you think you're gonna be there forever. It says 16 million copies sold. So it's a very, very popular book. I just want to talk about a few things. I'm not going to summarize the entire book, but I think it's a very good book, but there are some gotchas that I just wanna talk about. Here's a quote. Everyone has his own specific vocation or mission in life to carry out a concrete assignment which demands fulfillment. This is someone's meaning of life. If you ask what their meaning of life is, is basically saying that everyone has their own meaning of life. Depending on who you are, every single instant of your life, there is a meaning. You have something that you need to do. And in order to fill it to your best of your abilities, that is your personal meaning. And it may change from time to time, minute to minute. And that's basically his answer to the meaning of life. It gets a little deeper into it because there are further explanations and elaboration that makes the understanding of my simple, very sparse summary, not as eloquent as this book has put it. There's also how you discover the meaning of life, which are the following. Number one, create a work or doing a deed. That's reasonable enough. It's kind of like Maslow's pyramid where if you are creating a work or doing a deed that you're really good at, this is kind of like self-actualization. Whatever this author is talking about, it's giving you different access to get to self-actualization. It's different ways of talking about the same thing, meaning of life, self-actualization. The second way of discovering the meaning of life is by experiencing something or encountering someone. Now this sounds familiar because you have someone that might have taken a really long trip. Maybe they went to become a monk or something for a few months and then suddenly they come back with an epiphany. They're like, oh my gosh, my life's purpose is this. And then they happily go about their life the rest of their life. And the third thing here is, I felt like it's a little bit wedged in by this author, which is by the attitude we take toward unaffordable suffering. Half of this book is about the concentration camp. Even though there's a lot of suffering, some people are able to find meaning in the suffering itself, which is a little dark, a little deep. But one of the observation is that the people that die the soonest are the people that has lost meaning in life. It's kind of like the same thing for people in hospitals, patients that 
has lost meaning of life, maybe they're mentally shutting down, their body recognizes, okay, the mind is shutting down, okay, why don't the body shut down too? So then they're not fighting it out, I guess, anymore, and then they die sooner. But one of the biggest gripes I have with this book is that sometimes on the second half of the book, it uses these complex terms, it references these names of things that requires you to be a psychoanalyst. I don't even know if it's supposed to be a psychoanalyst type of field, but let me review this one particular sentence that it's kind of difficult for me to understand because I am not in this field. Midway between an aha experience along the lines of Carl Buhler's concept and a gestalt perception, say, along the lines of Max Werthmeer's theory. Carl Buhler? Gestalt? Perception? Max Werthermeyer's theory. I think a lot of people reading this book is it's gonna think the same thing about this particular sentence. I'm like, what? I'm a layman in the field of psychoanalysis. So I think this book could do a little bit better in terms of rewriting it for the typical layman. Overall though, I think this book is still pretty good because I got some nice tidbits from it. And if only to get those things that I referred here, three different ways to find meaning of life and that everyone's meaning of life is very different and also changes from time to time, minute to minute, hour to hour. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out my Audible link to get your free book or maybe you can get this free book if you want. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.